Alright, we start back. Right. I'm supposed to do a special lesson. That's your way out. She's over here, I think. Ah. Cheddar? Yep. I've been waiting for you all. Did you have a look at my request? We did. You want us to hold a class for the children, right? What do you want us to teach them, though? Don't worry, it's nothing too difficult. I just want you to teach them a little bit, a bit about Arabonia. I see. That explains why you asked us, then. This is a good chance for them to learn about life outside the settlement. They attend Sunday school, so they're fine in regards to regular studies. Might I ask how Sunday school is carried out here? A traveling priest comes by once a month to hold it. We really can't be thankful enough for all his efforts. When you think about it, the sheer amount of work the church school does on such a huge scale really is amazing. Indeed. It's all thanks to the goddess Gerosti. Do you have the time to help? If so, I'll call the children. I'll call the children over. Accept the request. Yes, where are you when you are? When they are. Thank you. Oh, I meant to say, we want this to be similar to Sunday school. So we'd like just one of you to serve as the teacher. Feel free to pick among yourselves. So keep in mind that Gaius isn't a candidate. Hmm. Who's the ideal candidate for this then? Hmm? I believe each of us will have our own unique things to teach you. That's true. I think it it might be best to go with Emma. The, actually, I believe that you would be the best candidate for this, Reen. What? I was thinking the same thing myself, actually. Social standing is pretty important in Erebonia. There's a broad variety of opinions about it. But you're kind of a special case, Reen. That's true. His unique position allows him to discuss things from a, from a relatively unbiased point of view. But I think you'd be a good choice, Reen. Even taking your position out of the equation, you're almost always at the, the center of our class anyway. Well, I suppose I can't say no if everyone feels that way, can I? Alright then, I'll do it. Thanks. Well, looks like we're ready to begin. Wonderful. I'll gather the children right away. Why weren't you doing that in the meantime? A special lesson started. Is that everyone? I don't see Thoma anywhere though. Um, Thoma's part of the older group on Sunday in Sunday school, so... Yeah, he's got work to do, too. So he can't come. I see. I was hoping he'd be here, too. Let's get started then. I'm so excited. Glad to hear it. I guess I should introduce myself first. I'm Rune Shorza. My friends and I came here from Thor's Military Academy. Thor's Military Academy? You're from the same academy as Gaius then. School's for studying and stuff, right? What do you study there? Well, we get taught all kinds of things, really. There are, basic, there are the basic subjects like history and math, but being a military academy, we also learn the art of combat. That's the same stuff Lakan and everyone else uses to fight monsters, isn't it? That's so cool. I see you've got a boyish side too, after all. Yeah, despite being a little scaredy cat. I I'm not. Hey now, there's no need for teasing. Hey, hey, how far is that academy from here? How far? In terms of distance? Um, you came here on something called a train, didn't you? Could you tell us how long that trip took? Oh, that makes it a bit easier in that case. Around 8 hours. 
if you take the transfer times out of the equation, then we were on the train for about eight hours, I'd say. That's pretty far. Daddy told me that trains are fast too. So it still took that long even then. It must be super far away then. It really is. Though the fact that we still made it here in a day is pretty amazing. Yeah. I'd have to take I'd have taken a lot longer by horse. Um, can I ask something too? Of course. Right. What's the biggest place in Erebonia then? That would be Heimdall, which is our capital city. Heimdall? That's a cool name. Yeah, that sounds strong. Yeah, that's a unique way to judge it. Um, how many people live there? Hmm. This should be it. From what I remember, it's around 800,000 people. 800,000? That's all. Is that a lot? Seems like they can't comprehend that the number that big just yet. Then again, I can't imagine that many people in one place either. You are not the only one. Of course, you'd never actually see that many people all at once. He seems to be doing just fine. So it seems. A lot of it's common knowledge though. Well, I'm just glad to see them learning something. He's not a bad teacher. If anyone has any further questions, please feel free to ask. Um, can I ask something then? Of course, what is it? How long ago was Thor's first built? Kaius told me all about how it has a long history, but I've forgotten when exactly it was made. Uh, hmm. Yeah, 220. Thor's was founded about 220 years ago. Roughly 30 years after the War of the Lions ended. The founder was none other than Emperor Dracos, a legendary figure in the, in the Empire and even here in the Highlands. Founding, this, founding the Academy was one of the last things he did before he passed away. That's a long time. I didn't know that Emperor Dracos was the one who founded it. I know. I know who he is too. He was friends with our ancestors, wasn't he? Yeah, he won the war and became the most important person in Erebonia. Yep, that's how he became the emperor. Hearing you all talk about him really goes to show how deep his connection with Nord was. So, is there anything else you'd like to know? Me, me, I have a question. Well, it's almost time for us to finish up for the day. Is there anything else you'd like to know before then? Mm, I think I asked everything. I can't think of anything else either. You two really did ask a lot. Oh yeah. Hmm? Seems like she's not all out of just yet. You talked about them before, but what are nobles? Well, you see, there's been a class system in place within Erebonia for a long time now. What's a class system? Hmm. Could you give me a few minutes to think? I'm not entirely sure how I should answer this. Um, can I ask as well, now that it has been brought up? Go ahead. I'm not sure if either of them will, re will really understand if you try to explain normally, so... Could you give us your own thoughts on nobles instead? That might make things easier to understand. That makes giving an answer easier too. Wow, things escalated quickly, didn't they? Indeed. I wonder how he'll answer. Hmm. This is still a bit tough. I don't think there's really a right or wrong answer, so I just have to answer with my heart, I guess. To me... What do nobles... What do you believe nobles should be saying? I think nobles are all about the bonds they have with their family. Oh? This is mostly from my own perspective really, and it's not something exclusive to nobles either, but they feel a sense of companionship through the family name that they've been born with. 
That very sense is what supports them through life and inspires them to work as much as they can to live up to it. I am probably not explaining it too well, but that's how I feel. I see. I'm just rambling now. Sorry. No, it's okay. I learned a lot from what you told us. I didn't really get it, but you sounded really cool. Yeah. So that's how we feel. That was really thoughtful response. <laughs> One very like him as well. It was. I'm very impressed to be honest. Regardless, that should be enough for today. Make sure to thank him now everyone. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Let me give you something to thank you for talking, for taking the time to teach your children. I believe that was a very valuable experience for all of them. I hope they got what I was trying to teach them. What I was trying to say. It wasn't exactly the easiest subject matter. We could tell you were really enthusiastic though. And I think the kids picked up on that too. She's right. They all seem to have been enjoying themselves. Your answer to that final question was rather impressive as well. Yeah. Looks like the kids aren't the only ones who learned something new today. Huh. I got so caught up in the details that I couldn't really explain myself properly. But I'm glad you guys think I did okay. You should have some more confidence in yourself. At any rate, here's your compensation for playing teacher today. Yellow Pendulum. Thank you, ma'am. Well then, I wish you the best of luck with that field study of yours. And may the blessing of the winds and the goddess be with you. Special lesson completed. Oh. Rent seal and mute. Uh, cloth. Strength and arts. Hmm. That would do good with uses. Right. Wondering. Hey there, I was waiting for you. How in the world did the fence end up like this? Your guess is as good as mine. Seems like I got broken sometime just before noon. Unfortunately, some of the sheep we've managed to ex have some of the sheep have managed to escape too. I doubt there's any need to worry about the monsters getting them because they're surprisingly fast, but would you be able to go out and find them for me? Gladly. How many sheep managed to escape? Five of them in total. Based on their hoof prints, it seems like three went north and two went south. I'd honestly like to go search for them myself, but I need to get this fence fixed up first. Otherwise, the rest of them will make a break for it as well. Don't worry, we'll take care of them. Shall we begin the search immediately then? That's probably the best idea, especially with how vast the highlands are. We'll need to make some preparations on our own our own before leaving too. I agree. I think out there with insufficient supplies is foolhardy. Right then. Let's get started once we're ready. Wondering sheep has started. Right, so There's one over there, one there, it appears that's all. I have to go to Zenda Gate. Yeah.
close one should be around here. Yep, should I? Ah, found one. I'm surprised it managed to come all the way out here. What are we going to do with the sheep we find? I'll lead the sheep back to the settlement with my horse. But we should leave guiding them back until after we found all five. Okay, we'll leave that to you then. Found the first sheep. Let's get going. The second one is right. Yeah. Close by, I'll have to kill you first. Here they come! Be careful, everyone! Okay! Yes! My turn! How did you miss? It's my turn! Fire! Now! Here. Leave it to me! There. Seriously, how? Let's keep moving. Excuse me. Seventy-five percent accuracy and still missed twice. Is that one of them? Yes, that's one of the sheep we're looking for. Phew, that's two of them. Yeah, there's still a few more out here though. On the second sheep. Let's get going. No, I don't see any more sheep, guys. But I know there's a hidden quest over here. Yeah. Us? Wow, I didn't know you were back. Hey, Charles, it's been a while. How are things, how are things going with Toma? They're going fine. We've, he even took me down to the settlement on the back of his horse not that long ago. It was really fun too. Everyone there is so kind and their lifestyle is so interesting. I'm glad to hear that. Toma was happy about having a friend this age from Erebonia too. Yes, yeah, so hoping the two of you continue to get along. Of course. Hey guys. Something wrong, Shaw? Oh no, it's some it's nothing like that, but would you mind if I asked some ask you something? Of course not, go for it. Really? Well then, you wouldn't happen to know what Thomas' favorite color is, would you? Hmm. I can't say for sure. 
I think he's told me before, but I just can't remember. Sorry. Oh. Hey, you're the girl who Thoma likes to visit, aren't you? Are you planning on giving him something? I... I thought so. What exactly did you have in mind? Well... I was actually thinking about making him a scarf. That sounds like a good idea. Ah, that sounds... That's why... You, so that's why you wanted to know his favorite color. Um, could you keep this a secret from him? I want it to be a surprise, so please. Of course, don't worry. We promise we won't tell him. Though, the issue of what color to make is still... Make it still remains. Would you ask him yourself to be out of the question? Would asking him yourself be out of the question, guys? I'm not sure. That would be wise. It's not exact... It's not really something we would normally talk about. So it might feel strike him as odd if I ask out of nowhere. Yeah, I can see him getting suspicious. That's not true for the rest of us, though. We should be able to slip it into a conversation without him catching on. He'll never suspect anything like that. Yeah, that could work. Let's go ask him then, shall we? Thank you so much. Quest Connecting Hearts has started. Wait a minute. You there, make my stuff stronger. What's left? You. Short of you. All right, let's see now. Let's go. That's another doorway.
good fighting so far. So, whoa, hold up. Let me get some new materials. I know there are some bigger enemies around here. what I'm looking for. This one looks dangerous. Be careful. I can do this. Go! My turn. There. Leave it to me. My turn. I can do this. My turn. Go! Emma! Understood! Here! Are you hurt, Emma? Actually, it was fun. Yes, I got one. I need two more. Two more to go. Yeah! Whatever is up here, it's small, so... Yeah. Oh, I think I saw it just now. There's no point in fighting that. Ah, there's one. It's enormous. Stay on guard! Watch out! This is a tough one! No advantage. Here we go! Find it. It's my turn. They're open. I got you. Yeah. It's my turn. Nice. Leave it to me. Here we go. It's my turn. Sleep. It's my turn. Fire! Go! My turn. It's my turn. Too far. All right. There. I can do this. Three weeks to win. Is everyone? 
everyone okay? That's on the effect is still lingering. Alright, I need one more now. Yeah! Where am I? I'm gonna leave you back in front here. And that's a key. Yeah! You respawn quick! I don't know if he dropped an item. Hear me. Thank you. Here we go. Check. All right. It's my turn. Yeah. Just heal them up too. Hear me. It's my turn. They're open. I got you. Go. We'll cut our own path. Raven is so close to living up. I got the defense one instead of. That's the stuff my thing. Yeah. How far do I have to go? Not very far. Alright. You're farming your ass right there. This will take everything we have. My turn. There. Go. Uh -huh. Leave it to me. Leave it to me. My turn. There. It's my turn. It's my turn. Hear me. Thank you. It's my turn. There. And asleep. Haha. <laughs> That's it. Are you hurt, Emma? <laughs> right, I need one more thing. No, I have enough. Yeah. Let's go. First things first, the Ella's home.
Right. Did I get enough separate to... Um, nope. 250. Let's check the trading post. That should be everything. I don't think I need anything more for a while. Right. Hmm. Oh crap, I went back the same down way. There's a bunch of them up there. There's one here. One, two, three. Four. No. Three. Yeah! All right. we go. It looks like this one didn't stray too far from the settlement. Yeah. I believe this is the third sheep. Seems so. Let's keep searching. Let's get going. The random advantage is really annoying. Alright, let's use some arts. What do I don't like? Earth and fire. Too much flame Go! There! I 
can do this. Oh, no, you don't. Stop right there. Listen, wait. Go. Naya. Naya. Right, right. Whirlwind! To me! Of course you can see Yeah! Ooh. Oh, that data is a fair bit of damage. Here we go! There! It's my turn! Leave it to me. There. Go. It's my turn. Yeah. Hear me. Thank you. It's my turn. There. Here we go. Go. Okay. I can do this. My turn. You know something? Yeah. <laughs> hmm. It's my turn. <laughs> Together, we're unbeatable. Good. It's level three. My side. Tristan. Yeah. Yeah, why monster must die for this? Now's our chance. Here we go. Hmm. Landed on a fifty heal. My turn. Whirlwind! To me! Now! I've got you! My turn! It's my turn. It's my turn. Fire! <laughs> that takes care of them. All right. And I got me a human to of it. Good. There it is. It appears to be safe. That's a relief. That's four sheep now. Yep, just one more to go. On the flood sheep. Let's get going. Yeah. That was the last one. Straight ahead.
Up close. Over there. Wait. Is that three of them? And all together? No, those are monsters. <laughs> Come on then. It's my turn. I expected more. Whirlwind! To me! Really? I can do this. Yeah! Hear me. Thanks! Go! There! It's my turn! It's my turn. Together, we're unbeatable. Phew, that was unexpected. It really was. All right, that should be all for all of them now. Good, good. We should let Watari know that we've found all of them. Found the, all of the lost sheep. And there we go. All fixed up. Everything should be fine now, I hope. Yeah, they won't be able to get out again. Thanks for tracking them all along. I'm sure they're relieved to be back with their buddies. <laughs> it certainly looks that way. <coughs> I'm amazed by now, by how well guys led them back here. Likewise, I w it wouldn't have been nearly as simple a task for the rest of us. It's just a matter of experience. Either way, the ship are safe now. So here, take this as my thanks. Fresh milk. Cheese. Did these come from the ship? Yep. It's good stuff, so eat up whenever you're feeling hungry. Thank you very much. One thing is ship completed. Hmm. I believe I have to talk to... Toma? Where is he? Ah, up there. But first... Let's rest a bit. Looking good, Toma. Hello, everyone. Did you need something from me? Oh no, we were just impressed by how hard you're working. You've been you've been going at it since this morning, aren't you, Tarad? <laughs> not at all. I'm not quite as strong as Gaius is, but I still have a duty to set a good example for Shida and Lily. That's quite a respectable mindset. It must be nice to have a sibling as admirable as you as Gaius. Huh, <laughs> thanks. What can I say? I'm proud to be his big his bro. Hey. It's kinda embarrassing to have that set to your face, isn't it? That aside, I'm sort of curious about the outfits you and the others wear. Are they all handmade? Of course. The fibers are used to the fibers used to make them come from our sheep here. And the dyes we use them mainly or dyes we use on them mainly come from the come from plants. Although we use certain ores and soils to color them too. Each color has a specific meaning as well. White represents the earth, blue represents the sky. Then there's green which ties it all together representing the wind and harmony. That's fascinating. Yeah, I didn't realize there was that much meaning in them. Can I ask which of the three colors you like the best? Hmm, I think I'd have to go for green myself. 
The wind is kind of special to us after all. That certainly makes sense. <laughs> I should have guessed this much. What's wrong? Did I say something weird? Come to think of it, I didn't really give the rest of you a chance to say anything, did I? I'm sorry. No need to worry. We were just answering our questions after all. Well, if you say so. Anyway, we should probably let you get back to work. Indeed, we have our own tasks to get back to as well. Yeah, you're right. Good luck with the rest then, Toma. Thanks. Be careful out there. But look at that. I have to go back to the shell, but I'll see you when I end here.